Daniel, a, a part in the movie where they talk about Billy Bean, who I hadn't heard of before this show, um, and they're describing his experience about how being an elite athlete and having a secret was almost too much to bear. It was almost too troubling. Does that resonate with you at all? I think one of the interesting things is, as a lot of people have already alluded to, is everyone's journey is different. And, and for mine, it probably wasn't until I came out to my family in, in 2005, six, and, and then subconsciously everything releases. But, you know, I, when I was competing, I, I, I didn't really know. I was still confused. I mean, the worst question I hated was, uh, how many girls did you sleep with in the Olympic Village? And my answer was always none, and that should have been a clear sign that <laughs> you know, I was probably um, I was probably gay. But I always I was focused on the swimming or whatever. But the reality is is that I it didn't impede me. Um, but I think that's more a reflection. I just I, one I didn't know, and two I wasn't wasn't true to myself. Right. <coughs> Daniel um, Pat Griffin said in the show. She said that if you're going to be an advocate. You have to do your homework, um, and you've um, you've been doing some great work. You've got the, the uh, AOC float happening, and this this year's Mardi Gras. You've done a fantastic job in terms of helping out with this festival. Um, have you found you've had to do some homework, and what has uh, what homework have you done, and what has that kind of taught you more broadly about the issue? I have a great role model in you, and you did tell me last year after the anti-homophobia in sport float you organised that you'd never do it again and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't understand why but now I, do, I know. <laughs> uh, but having said that I, I think uh, you, you look at the, the movie that we just watched and you look at um, the stories that are being told here and, and it, it's been said a, a number of times is that we need to appreciate that every story is, is different um, but I think more importantly we need to start to realise that the support that the young people particularly coming through or those who aren't quite at the, the point where we are, there is, there is support out there and there are uh, programs in place to, to help those people and it's being able to tap into that and use your networks and use your resources and, and really don't be scared to, to, to ask a question of people to help you because at the end of the day, I, I mean, I, I know very, very little um, when it comes to you know, the, the fight that has been taking place and I've learned a lot this week about the 78ers and so forth. So, you know, for me, it's just being able to be a part of something about giving back is, is the most important thing. And it's, it's great that um, the Olympic Committee and the Paralympic Committee um, have a float, the NRO have a float, and hopefully it's a sign of, of things to come for the future. Thank you. I think it's fantastic to have people with the profile that you have um, as an example. I just come out and I'm involved in community basketball. Looking back at your time in community sport where you started, what would be the one thing that you would have liked to have seen in the community sport that might have helped your journey? So you know, in particular? Is it related to that directly in particular? Or no. Is there, would anyone like to grab hold of that? <laughs> I think uh, um, I think the biggest thing is the use of the language by coaches and staff or administrators or even parents when they throw out the word oh that's so gay or stop being a faggot or whatever it is uh, I, I'd like to assume that in most cases it's not done in a negative or um, condescending context but the reality is that hurts so and I just think that if, if we can start using language that is, is appropriate, um, then that can go a long way. And I, I know that I wouldn't have felt that some of the stuff that was hurtled towards me, whilst it wasn't in a, a negative way, I don't think, but it did, it did hurt. So I think that's just one, one small step.